have no great surprise to hear that Jamaica is already a big fan of our new guest star one day runner. Having spent an awful lot of this season either sitting out on the bench or warming the seats in the stand, he finally got that break he so desperately wanted on Saturday when Ramos called him up in the starting lineup in the middle of the game. Also marking Ramos' the first game in charge in the Premier League. Darren Bent also got called up into the first lineup, leaving Robbie Keane and Berbatov to sit out on the bench. This shows a marked difference in strategy from Martin Yole's reign, who obviously preferred the starting duo of Keane and Berbatov. So it could be a way for him to come in and stamp his authority not only on the players but also on the Premier League itself. If he wanted to come in and show that he wasn't afraid to shake things up a bit, make a few changes, he certainly did that. And the foe only seemed wanted a bit of a friendly cuddle from his manager before a match to give him that bit of get up and go that we so desperately needed to see of late. He said that although Ramos can't give him that sort of chat as yet with the piece of the language barrier, an arm on the shoulder and a good luck before the match is all the motivation he needed to give his all for the team. And although it's only been two games, I think we may have already seen a little bit of the magic that could come from a new management for, for, the, for Defoe. Uh, he was all over the pitch during the Blackpool game last Wednesday, and we saw the same kind of grit and determination from him in the middle of the match as well. Unfortunately, it wasn't enough to secure the three points we so desperately needed. The fence again looked creaky and incredibly leaky, letting in uh, the equaliser in the second half. On the plus side though, Aaron Lennon is looking really good as late. Kevin Prince-Botan played a pretty good game against Middlesbrough. And with any luck, we'll get Leslie King back in the side pretty soon. So hopefully, with a finger crossed, our defence and midfield could be on the mend with a bit of push from our new gaffer. What we really need is a leader both on and off the pitch, and I'm hoping we're starting to see a bit of that powerful leadership from Ramos that I think off the pitch we need to sort out some of our problem players. But hopefully with Levy King returning, we can also get the leadership on the pitch that we so desperately need. Our team dynamics aren't great at the moment, there's not an awful lot of unity, and we need Levy to come in from the back foot and push up into the, into the strikers giving that kind of team sort of leadership throughout. Obviously, um, Ramos isn't afraid to change the team around, and I was actually quite glad to see the partnership of uh, Bent and Defoe on, Saturday, on Saturday's game. I was going to think, you know, if some have been saying, what's well, a brave move, and why would you leave the top and team on the bench? Okay, they are amazing and a great partnership, and obviously you're always happy to see them in the starting lineup. But it's not exactly a hugely great move when you stick an international striker and Darren Burke, who's also a great striker, in your starting lineup. I don't think there's an awful lot of teams who would be too unhappy with that partnership. Obviously, Darren Burke hasn't shown great form for us as yet, but then again, he hasn't had a huge amount of chances, and maybe what Ramos was giving the opportunity for our team was to see what other strikers could do and what other partnerships could do. And it wasn't as if Berbatov and Keane didn't get a chance to show what they were made of either. They did come on for a full half hour in the second half, so they could have proved a point there, and I don't think they shined. But what did you think? Did you think it was a bit of a misguided decision by Ramos? Would you prefer to see Berbatov and Keane reinstated in the starting lineup for Thursday's UEFA Cup match? Or would you be happy to keep Defoe on? I think I would like to see maybe Berbatov and Defoe, but I would like to see Def uh, Berbatov playing with some of the heart that we used to see from him. At the moment, he's kind of dragging his fingers around the pitch in a kind of Kevin S teenager kind of sulky way. And we know that's not the real Berbatov. We know he has heart and passion for our club. And I want to see that back from him. But as I said, what do you want to see? Do you want to see Defoe and Berbatov? Do you want to see Keane and Ben? What mix would you go for? And what do you think of the rumours of us getting a new striker? Because surely we don't need one. Um, but log on to www.bergfive.tv, leave a comment and let us know what you think. I'll speak to you soon.